What's going on guys? And today we're going to be reviewing the LEGO Star Wars Inquisitor Transport Scythe set. It's at 75336. It has 924 pieces and this set retails for 100 US dollars. I've been wanting this set ever since it was released. I finally got my hands on it and this set is fantastic. I missed out on Krennic Shuttle and this set, in my opinion, kind of looks like Krennic Shuttle. And my goal is to get a uh, director Krennic minifigure, so it'll be great. This set goes for two great ships. is Krennic Shell and the Inquisitor Scythe. This set is amazing. The, the figures in the set are fantastic, besides one of them um, being one of the Inquisitors. But overall, I love this set, and the look of it is so great. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the set first, and then take a look at the minifigures. So let's get into this. This set overall has so many great features being that the wings fold down very easily. I love that about this set. Usually it has those like weird clamps that like have to click like every like movement. But overall, this set is so easily to like play with and all that. It has a, a rocket launcher on the sides of the wings. The missiles look really good. I like what they did here. They added like a rod piece and a lightsaber hilt. That is really, really good. And if we look down here, it's a very smooth look. There's not many studs on the sides, which is always great to have with your sets. And then that just goes right up there. So what's great about this set also is if we fold the wings down, let's pull the set up, put them down. It looks like that. The inside, the interior has two seats for two of the Inquisitors to drive. And it has um, a Grand Inquisitor seat right there with a control panel there. These are stickers, these panels right here on both sides. That is okay. And it has like a uh, exit right there, but I don't even think that's a door. But you can just put that right back on. Um, in the front is where the Inquisitors can exit, as you can see. And then that just folds right back up. All right, so I'm gonna have to, uh, there we go. But yeah, this set is so great. And in the back of the set, you cannot open the back, which is kind of odd, but you have you get two engines right there. You get like stickers right here. Everything in this set is stickers if it comes like printing on it, which kind of stinks, but it's, it's okay because the set looks, are just magnificent. I mean, this ship looks so menacing and so good. But yeah, that's the ship. Let's get into the minifigures. Alrighty. So, to start off, we are going to be looking at Obi-Wan. And this Obi-Wan is a great minifigure. As you can see, he has like a claw thing that's like a kind of like a, I don't even, it's not really a cape. Because it goes like over his torso, but if we move that, he's got um he's got okay printing. It's not the most printing I've ever seen, but he's got some belt printing, no arm printing, unfortunately. Um, no leg printing. He's a pretty basic Obi-Wan minifigure. The hair piece though is really good. I love the waviness, and it's like a mullet, so it looks really cool. And he's got two face prints, he's got a mad face too. So that's really nice. And he just has his typical Obi-Wan look with a blue lightsaber. And overall, this Obi-Wan looks really, really good. Love that minifigure. And I want to talk about this one first because she is my least uh, favorite one. Uh, Reva, whatever her name is, the female Inquisitor. Uh, yeah, they really didn't do a good job with her. No leg printing. I mean, the hair, I mean, this figure is really ugly. No offense. Uh, the hair is really weird. Um, she has her typical Inquisitor lightsaber, which it's pretty cool to get some more of that one. Uh, she just has the... Uh, Typical Sith cape, uh, torso print, which the torso print is actually pretty good, and back torso print, so that's really nice. Uh, no arm printing, but they really made this figure look pretty bad, in my opinion. You guys can like that figure, but not my favorite. Um, let's look at this one next, the fifth brother. Uh, yeah, this is probably one of my favorite Inquisitor figures I own. Um, I love the helmet piece. This helmet piece is pretty interesting. I don't think it's new, but the head print at the back is so good. It's like a robot look. And then, um, he has like an alien face. It's so sick. 
and he's got a cool chest uh, plate right there with the typical Inquisitor lightsaber. Uh, gray arms, which it's not just black, so that's really awesome. Great torso print, leg printing, and back torso print. This They did an excellent job with the fifth brother. I think they did one for the Rebels line. and But this one, this one looks so much better than that one. I just got to say, that figure is amazing. Love that figure. And finally, the Grand Inquisitor. The Grand Inquisitor is a really good minifigure. They did a great job interpreting this figure. Because in Rebels, he's not very menacing, in my opinion. They made his face look scary. And I love that. That's a really cool figure, typical Inquisitor lightsaber. He's got a uh, one stud cape. He's got his uh, armor piece right there. And all the Inquisitors come with the uh, lightsaber attachment piece to attach. He comes with uh, no arm printing. Comes with really good torso print underneath. Great leg printing. And even bad torso print. I mean, they just they did a great job with the, these two Inquisitors. But Reva, not the greatest. I mean, they didn't really do a good job. And Obi-Wan... Really good minifigure to have, but overall, he's not the most detailed. If you're looking for a detailed Obi-Wan, there are much better Obi-Wans out there. But overall, I recommend this set. This set is great. It is a cheap way to get, like, kind of like a Krennix Imperial Shuttle. You can mod modify it and make it more like Krennix Imperial Shuttle. But overall, I love this set. This set is great. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Be sure to comment down below and subscribe to this next video. See you guys.